So today I want to talk about the New Deal, and I know it's a, a large topic, um, but I hope we can kind of cover a little bit of it. My first question would be, what was the goal of the New Deal? So the New Deal was a domestic program of the administration of Franklin Roosevelt from 1933 to 1939. It was aimed at dealing with the problems of the Great Depression. It sought to bring immediate economic relief to, to uh, folks who had lost their jobs, and it also tr uh, sought to produce reform measures to the financial system to try to prevent a repetition of the stock market crash of 1929 and the bank fail failures that uh, had contributed so much to the onset. And what were some of the initial policies that made up the New Deal? So one of the first things that Roosevelt did when he came into office in March of 1933 was declare a bank holiday, shutting down the banks for four days so that they could all be reevaluated and those that were solvent could be reopened. Those that weren't solvent weren't reopened. And so just that step in itself got the um, American people to have confidence in uh, banks again. Economists and historians still debate whether the programs that were the Roosevelt administration created through the New Deal, they debate the success of those as far as uh, ending the depression. Jeff, can you talk a little bit about some of the specific programs that made up the New Deal or were a part of the New Deal? Yeah, so there were just a whole lot of programs and they talked about them as being kind of alphabet soup because uh, they were really known by the acronyms that uh, of the program. So uh, one of the best known is the Work Progress Administration, you know, as the WPA. There were a lot of public works. So it was building roads, building bridges, building public buildings, uh, working on transportation, places like airports, the uh, LaGuardia Airport in New York. But there were also uh, underneath the uh, WPA, there was also the Federal Writers Project, Theater Project, Federal Art Project. And that's the sort of thing that we still see today. The Federal Writers Project had the America Guide, which was uh, travel guides, another really well known of the acronyms, TVA, Tennessee Valley Authority. That was uh, the uh, construction of dams and then the uh, implementation or the spreading of, of electrical power through seven states in the uh, southeast of the, of the United States. And TVA is certainly still, still with us today. Along with those programs, uh, can you talk a little bit about FDR's leadership and some of the other things he did in order to kind of reassure the country that? Uh, these programs were going to work? Yeah, I think maybe the thing the, uh, b beyond the programs, one of the most important things that Roosevelt provided was just kind of calm, confident, empathetic leadership. He knew that Americans needed reassuring. Um, and that started right from his first inauguration when he sort of famously said, the only thing that we have to fear is fear itself. So first of all, let me assert my firm belief that the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. Uh, it's something that he uh, demonstrated through uh, his fireside chats, which appeared on radio broadcasts that started out uh, as explanations of the um, New Deal policy, but they kind of involved, evolved into these uh, intimate conversations between uh, Roosevelt and the American people that reassured their fears and helped give them uh, hope for the future. On a Sunday night, a week after my inauguration, I used the radio to tell you about the banking crisis and about the measures we were taking to meet it. In that way, I tried to make clear to the country various facts that might otherwise have been misunderstood, and in general, to provide a means of understanding, which I believe did much to restore confidence. Along with these programs, uh, reform also occurred in order to try to prevent disasters like this in the future. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, so uh, one of the, uh, another of the early um, acts was in 1933 was the Glass-Steagall Act or the, uh, the Banking Act. And one of the things that did is it changed the way that, that banks operated so that they weren't engaged in such sort of risky practices that got them removed from, from stocks. And it also created the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, which insured bank accounts. Uh, the Securities Act created the Securities and Exchange Commission, which is still in place and that um, uh, regulated the way that the stock market operated. So Jeff, we're currently experiencing economic instability due to the pandemic. What do you think the Works Progress Administration would look like today? I guess at the end of the day, you know, rebuilding infrastructure, we still need to do that. But are there other industries now that you think we would have to put more attention into? Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez would certainly have an answer for you, and she would, I, would talk about the Green New Deal, um, which has a, a large economic aspect to it but it also is very much about the response to uh, the environment 
and to uh, replacing fossil fuels and all those sort of uh, jobs and uh, infrastructure that would be created to, to go about doing that. Great. Well, Jeff, thanks for, for comparing these two and, and thanks for sharing your knowledge on the New Deal. And I hope that we can talk about some, some other topics soon. It's always a pleasure, man. Thanks.